What's going on Vapors? I'm Lance. Today we're going to take a look at the 75 watt temp control ice stick Pico kit by Eleaf. All right, you guys, let's take a peek at this here. Here's the Pico kit inside. We've got the device and the tank and inside the box we have a charger. A uh, couple different sets of O-rings. Uh, the ones that are installed here are clear and it looks like it comes with another clear set and a uh, pink set, but I know for the black one it actually comes with black O-rings in here. Then it also comes with a replacement coil, a cantle coil, 0.5 ohm, rated from 30 to 100 watts. Alright, so let's take a peek at the actual device here. Uh, so this is what it looks like when it's all screwed together. And this has the capacity from 1 to 75 watts to, uh, this has the, the ability to run from 1 to 75 watts or from 200 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit in temperature control mode or 100 to 315 degrees Fahrenheit. And it can run in titanium, nickel, stainless steel, or bypass mode. Uh, it's about 1 and 3 quarters inches wide, the device itself, uh, less than an inch thick and about 2 and 3 quarters inches tall. Um, but the tank is about 0.86 inches uh, wide or 22 millimeters, and then about two and a quarter inches tall, or about or uh, 55 millimeters. It has a two milliliter capacity, uh, the tank does, and is made of 304 stainless steel, and as you can see, this airflow ring down here um, is how you adjust the airflow. So this is when it's wide open. It's turned clockwise if you're looking at it uh, downward. If you turn it counterclockwise, it is closed. Uh, installed here is a 0.3 ohm, Canthal coil that is rated from 30 to 80 watts. And it is a top fill tank with a 510 uh, cap on top. So top fill. So to fill it up, obviously you just unscrew this bad boy right there. And something interesting about this, this does take one 18650 battery, but to put the battery in, you just unscrew this cap here. Turn it counterclockwise. And pop your battery in uh, positive end downward and screw it back on and you're ready to run the device. Now I don't want to burn the coil out since it's dry so I'm just going to show you how this menu operates uh, without the tank on here. Alright so to flip the display because it's upside down uh, you turn it off one two three four five clicks off and then the up and down buttons are actually on the bottom there so what you want to do is hold them both down to flip the display over and it's going to flip over like that and we'll turn it back on one two three four five all right, and to adjust the uh, wattage, obviously you got your up button and your down button, but to select your different modes, three clicks, and you can select from wattage mode to uh, your presets, M3, M2, M1, and then your temperature mode, stainless steel, titanium, nickel, bypass mode, and back to wattage mode. So in temperature control, this can run coils from 0.05 ohms to 1.5 ohms, and in but in wattage mode, it can run coils from 0.1 to 3.5 ohms. It also comes in hot pink, black, gray, silver, and white. And to lock your wattage or temperature in place, you simply hold down the plus and minus buttons down here while the device is turned on. And in a few seconds, it will lock, and now you are not able to change the wattage or temperature. To undo it, you simply press that down again. All right, you guys, so that was a look at the iStick Pico by Eleaf, and now I'm going to take a rip on it. I got a 0.3 ohm coil, the pre-installed coil in here, and I got a mixer own flavor in there, and running it at 40 watts, which is about 3.22 volts, and uh, show you how she rips with the airflow wide open. As you can see, surprisingly huge clouds for the, uh, for the size of the device. If you'd like to pick one of these up for yourself, please come to VistaVapors.com. Till then, have an excellent day and vape on.